Hi everybody, my name is Alicia. Welcome to my channel. The name of my channel is at Pretty Wigs Please. You guys, today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. So this is going to be kind of a do-over of these four pieces that I have laying right here because I had a message request from Miss Ivy LX. Hi Miss Ivy LX if you're watching. She has asked me twice now to do something about the placement of my camera when I'm making reviews because she says she can't get a good depiction of what the hair looks like, the fullness, the shape, the style, that sort of thing. I actually really appreciate the input because even I sometimes, y'all, and please remember, you know, I'm not a professional, but even I sometimes will do a review and I'll say to myself, hey, I did that one good. You know, that came out good. And then sometimes I'll do one and I'm like, oh, I could have done that better. You know, whether it'll be how I had the camera placed or the lighting or just that sort of thing. So, y'all know I'm having a ball showing you all of these pieces. But at the end of the day, it really is about you. And I want you to be able to get what you need from the review. So, I hear you, Miss Ivy LX. And right now, I want you to know, I have my ring light straight in front of me. My phone straight in front of me with my little background here. And I'm just looking straight forward ahead. And I'm going to move around a bit and try to show you different angles so that you can see what it is you need to see about these pieces. Okay, I think y'all get the gist of it. Let me just get moving. Now, you guys, I've done full reviews on all of these pieces, so I'm not going to spend a bunch of time talking about cap features and all that. Please look them up in my videos if you want to see the full reviews, okay? The one that she asked me about in particular was my last review, and that is Monica by Aesthetica and Caramel Kiss RT4. She's right, y'all. I had my camera's angle up like this, <laughs> and I know what she's talking about. Sometimes it makes you wonder if you're really seeing, seeing it correctly, because angles do matter. So, anyway, here we are, and let's just, let's just get going. So, here's Monica by Aesthetica. I'm going to show it to you like this before I even put her on. Here's Monica. Okay, let me put her on. Okay. So she said she couldn't tell about the fullness from the angle that I was showing this piece at. So let's try it like this. I'm sitting as straight up as I can, <laughs> looking straight forward. Okay, now I'm going to come in a little bit. Try to hold my head up. I'll hold my head every way I can think of. I don't mean to be shouting if I'm shouting, y'all. <laughs> That's just my wig grit. There's Monica. So, Monica does have a little permatease. You could fluff her up even more. Y'all, all of these have pretty much just been sitting in the box since I did the reviews. So, you know, I haven't styled them or made them look pretty or anything. So, this is just what they look like. How's that? Is that any better? You know, I for sure want y'all to tell me down in the comments if you think this was a good idea. If it, if it is helping a little bit. we go. 
the end rod here. Okay, we've got a few, so I'm gonna move on. This is Monica. Okay. So I went and looked through my reviews and I picked out these four because maybe I did have the camera, camera at a bit of a weird angle on these four. So that's why I chose these four to reshow just so that you can get another view, okay? This is Tony Bratton Enticing in Brown Blonde. <laughs> Haven't done a thing to it. You guys, I am eight inches from here to here, 22 inch circumference, and I have a pretty much all the way around average head. She looks really full like a lot of hair, but she is not. She doesn't have much permatease. There's a little bit, there's a little bit, but there's not a ton of permatease in this. And you can make her look really voluminous, but you know, it's not as much hair as you might think it is. I love this piece. Very pretty. Basic cap. Here's her thing. I'm just trying to sit up, do anything that I can do to give you a different view. There we go. Did I show it to you like this? Isn't that pretty? You can go and watch the full review if you need to, y'all. Renee of Paris Wyatt in Rose Gold R. I think I kind of did the same thing with this one during the review, y'all. I haven't had these out of the box, so they might be a little wonky. I haven't had a chance to mess with them. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> Love it. Let me scoot that. I had even brought my black tablecloth in here because these light colors, here, let me do this. If y'all stayed with me this long, surely you'll stay with me for another minute. Let's do this for the color. Rose Gold R. kind of hard to put your finger on this color, but it is so pretty in person. Okay. Try to get up here so you can see.
This is why I say you guys watch every reviewer that you can. When you're interested in a particular piece, that's what I do. If I want to buy a piece for myself, I will watch every review and every reviewer that I can find so that I can see it in all different settings. Okay, here's the last one. Henry Margu Michelle in 82726GR. This one, you guys, I think it was one of my worst reviews. I've even thought about taking that video down because I did such a bad job and she deserves so much more. This is one of my absolute favorite everyday pieces right here. But I didn't do great on that. So I'm going to show her you again right now. I don't think this piece gets talked about enough. What a great, realistic, everyday piece. Now, she does have a full mono and lace front. Let me put her on. Because I want to give you a real look at Michelle by Henry Margu. That video I did was just terrible. <laughs> the lighting was bad. Everything was bad. Here we go. Just that easy. Put it on your head. I mean, you don't have to do a thing. She is ready to go, and you look like you made an effort. Nothing to it. I don't know if you can see with that brick wall. You guys know I'm not a professional. I'm trying to figure all this out so that we can get the best views that we can of these pieces. Y'all bear with me. I'm working on it. <laughs> I don't know if that helped or hurt, but <laughs> uh, there we go. A 2726GR, my all-time favorite color probably in the world. I just love it. Okay, let me back up. There we go. So realistic. Now, you could put your little wig wax in Michelle if you wanted to <laughs> doll her up some. She's got that full mono top. I'm trying to turn every way I can think of so you can see. I'm just an everyday level. I'm just a low profile kind of girl just for around the house and normal life. But this little piece right here is amazing. You could just put your wig wax in there. You could doll her up if you wanted to. Or you could just wear her probably like I do behind my ears. Let me show you. I just let that little bang come over. Tuck her behind my ears. This is probably my most worn piece for every day wear right now. She kind of mimics my real hair, you know, back when I still had some hair and before it all turned gray white. <laughs> and it just makes me feel like myself only better. <laughs> Beautiful lace front. Oh, look. Realism. The fibers, wonderful. Okay. I hope this helped a little bit. I know this probably isn't the ordinary. <laughs> But I don't care. I want to do what it is that you need to help you better make a decision. These pieces cost us money. I'm well aware of that. I want to I want to know what I'm getting or at least have a really good idea. So I hope this helped just a little bit. 
You guys, if you have any questions at all about any of these pieces that I've shown you, you can just ask me down in the comments. I'll talk to you about it. Anything you want to know. And I want to tell you this for sure. One, I sure do appreciate the suggestions. Um, if you have any more suggestions how I can make this better for us, uh, please say it to me. And I'll certainly take it into consideration and see if I can't make it better. I'm still new to all of this. I, I don't always know. So we're learning as we go. <laughs> I just adore every one of you. I got to get going with my day here. Y'all have a good day. Bye.